Hello everyone, welcome. I am Brian. You are Chords and Notes Nation. This is the greatest band in the galaxy universe ever. Sorry, Nightwishers. <laughs> Rush is the standard. But if they weren't the standard, then I wouldn't have been able to get to Nightwish. Because Nightwish, you know. Man, oh man, they're good too. But anyways, this is a Rush reaction. Uh, Between the Wheels, R30 Tour. Um... 2004, I was at the R30 tour in Milwaukee, Summerfest. It was fun. It was good. I enjoyed it. This is one of the songs I really, really like. One of probably the unsung uh, greats in my book um, off of um, Grace Under Pressure, right? Yeah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done a Rush reaction, but that's because they are, like, I've listened to every song of theirs 20 million times. So, in this channel, what I've tried to do is uh, bring in music, more new music that's more true to the first listen um, experience. But anyways, if you are new here, please subscribe and like. That will grow the channel. Um, super thanks should be below. If not, it will be on some videos. Um, if you want to go above and beyond and you also have uh, donation requests via PayPal and if you want to become an official member of Chords and Notes Nation getting top priority on everything and experiencing all thing Chords and Notes that's patreon.com in the description box below let's get started oh and those of you who are new here I'm always raw honest and unedited it's you it's me it's the living room it's Rush we're gonna listen We'd like to do something now that goes back to our Grace Under Pressure album. This is one we pulled out of the vaults. It's called Between the Wheels. Love the dissonant chords. Thank you. 
Yeah, baby. Yeah. Absolutely one of my favorite songs. What I absolutely love about Rush is their everything. <laughs> everything. Let me just focus on this song. Otherwise, this is going to be a three-year-long video. Um, so the message that Neil wrote is, is about being between the wheels. And you think about the analogies that he used to paint that picture, and it's a, it's a, a moment of tension, of stress, of strife. Um, and that was a brilliant compositional move on their part to open the song and drive the song with uh, dissonance, a dissonant chord. Because it's the dissonance that really brings in that tension and that friction, which which underscores the whole point. This is where we're talking about crafting music, crafting a song, and you want the the there's got to be a marriage of lyric and and melody and 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 music. Uh, I should say a marriage of music and mel uh, melody message. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just like, I'm spinning. My brain is between the wheels right now. <laughs> um, and, and with the rhythmical structure, the rhythmic structure that Neil chose, it, it underscored the dissonance, but it was also sort of a driving... Right? And it, it just gave you this this sense of like trudging through mud and how uncomfortable it is, but you're still going. And that's kind of what he's saying in the lyrics. It's like, you know, you, the wheels go round and round basically. And you can go from rockets, red glare, like, Hey, okay. So here's great. An analogy. United States, the whole, the glory, the, the, uh, um, the patriotism, the, the love of country, the, you know, this rocket's red glare going back to the Revolutionary War. We're starting something new and we're beginning this country in, 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 well, basically we, we began this country in bloodshed, um, in order to be free. But then something along the way came along and, and some things changed in how we do deal with ourselves in the world and, and, Next thing you know, we go to, brother, can you spare another war? Another wasteland and another lost generation. It's, it, 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 it was touching the United States, but that was also something, I think, in the bigger picture of the world, you know, where you, you're you starting out at, at something and you wind up at something else and the wheel just keeps going around and around. You're going from point A to point B, back to point A to point B. And in all of that is this friction and this tension and this back and forth, um, like a windshield towards the fly, ah, you know, splat. Um, it's, but this is what I'm saying about Rush is how they take, they take that concept within that message and they, they craft the music to support that. They're not the only ones that have done that, okay? But in my book, they do it the most consistent with every song that they've put together. Does that mean every song they've put together is great? No, but once you reach a certain level of greatness, you get a pass. You get a free, you know, a pass on some of the songs that maybe tank out on you a little bit. But even the worst songs that Rush have has created and crafted are better than 90% of the music that's out there today, you know. So that's what I got to say. Um, but yeah, this was this was a good, it was a good reminder of their influence on me, it was a good reminder of their influence on, on what music should be, what songwriting should be. I love the fact that Alex was out front here with the guitar, um, especially in comparison to the studio uh, album. But of course, at that time, they were going through, um, uh, let's see, Grace Under Pressure. Did they have a producer or were they the producers? They had a co-producer. I don't remember. 
Um, but there was some funky stuff going on in the 80s with wanting to really go digital. And they had some back and, back and forth with different producers. And sometimes they produced their own records. And it didn't always turn out the best production-wise. Um, but maybe for the time it was but in retrospect not so much so anyways that's all i have to say right now um god bless you have a wonderful wonderful day and i will talk to you later